Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and some exciting 2K news as early today WWE and 2K announced the brand new arcade style wrestling game WWE Battlegrounds set to release in fall of later this year. Before we get too into things, let's take a look at the brand new WWE Battlegrounds announced trailer. Well, I don't know about you, but WWE Battlegrounds certainly looks crazy to say the least. The game, which is developed by Saber Interactive, looks to be taking a note from their NBA Playground series, which also takes simulation style and appearance and turns it right in its head, offering a brand new experience for fans. Thanks to the trailer, we get our very first look at the women's roster for Battlegrounds so far, with rival Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch going toe to door once again, spotting their signature attires along with some over the top moves to boot. As well as Becky and Charlotte, we also got confirmation of both The Rock and John Cena, as well as Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was featured on the promotional hour for the game. As far as the gameplay goes, WWE Battlegrounds seem to take note from the hugely popular fan favourite All Stars with a touch of NBA Playground sprinkled into the mix. Similar to that of WWE TK20, WWE Battlegrounds will also see its very own set of unique arenas with an underground battle arena as well as a swamp arena for this very own OMG moment in a jaw dropping moment for poor John Cena. Unfortunately, the trailer doesn't give any indication as to which console the game will be available on, but if NBA Playgrounds 2 is anything to go by, we could see parts on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows, as well as the Nintendo Switch, which hasn't hosted a WWE game since the controversial part of WWE 2K18. As far as my thoughts on the game itself, I will say I'm kind of mixed, but mainly down to the game's aesthetic more than anything and the fact that I'm so used to playing with the main 2K series. While you could argue that the graphics are arguably nowhere near as impressive as the main series, with even that in question after last year's game, the gameplay does offer a much needed fresh approach to the combat style, which is highly likely to bring in a whole new fan base, as well as fans of WWE All-Stars and other beat em up classics. Before we wrap things up today, 2K also addressed the future of the 2K series with an official statement confirming the rumours of no new WWE 2K game this year and their outlook for the series going forward. Their statement is as follows. We hear you and we know you want more from the franchise, so here's what we're going to do. We're applying what we've learned to the next WWE 2K simulation game with a renewed focus on the quality and fun. As part of that commitment, we are extending the production timeline and will not be releasing a WWE 2K simulation game in 2020. We want to ensure the development team at Visual Concepts can create a great game that will entertain grizzled WWE 2K veterans as well as newcomers who want to climb through the ropes and step into the ring for the very first time. We've recruited Patrick Gilmore to serve as our new executive producer and lead these efforts at Visual Concepts. Patrick has over 25 years of experience in video games, reaching all the way back to Disney's Aladdin on the Sega Genesis and including the franchises like Killer Instinct, Medal of Honor and most recently Amazon's New World. He will be overseeing WWE 2K development and you'll be hearing more from him and the team in the months to come. In closing, we want to thank you again and hope you'll join us in celebrating these announcements. 2K and WWE are reaffirming a long-term commitment to expand the WWE games family in ways that will directly benefit you, the fans. We are taking the time we need to deliver the quality you deserve, while at the same time offering you experiences and ways to have fun with the WWE superstars you love. And that's the bottom line, because 2K said so. Sadly, this does confirm there will indeed be no WWE 2K21 this year, but with the team putting all their focus and efforts in what could possibly be 2K22, I can't help but feel a little bit of hope for what's to come. I think the majority of us would argue that while 2K20 had huge potential with the inclusion of originals and the women's showcase, the game itself was doomed from the get-go thanks to the sheer amount of bugs and glitches, with many of them sadly still residing even after multiple patches. 
Speaking of originals, I will be putting together a short video within the coming weeks ranking the originals from my personal best to worst, as well as what I made of the originals concept as a whole. Hopefully the needs of WWE Battlegrounds helps bridge the gap between now and a new simulation game from 2K because I for one felt a little lost when rumours began surfacing about a year with no WWE title in sight. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE Battlegrounds content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget you can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution, hoping you at home are managing to stay safe and sane in these testing times.